Hey all, hope you're doing well. I'm gonna do things a little bit differently today. It's an unscripted review type of my favorite Disney movie, Treasure Planet. And um, there are a few reasons it's my favorite movie. The narrative and the transition in the story that is seamless with a narrator that makes it feel like a storybook. But that's only the tip of the iceberg. Um, so I'm just going to start off with, I watched this movie as a kid loads of times, like at least four or five times at the cinema uh, when it first came out, of course. Anyway, one of the most fascinating things about this movie is that you're immediately thrown into this strange and mysterious world with <laughs> actually by a strange and mysterious character called Bones, which sets off the events at the start of the movie. And you follow Jim on his hero journey, on his hero's journey through the movie. And I say hero's journey because there's a lot of similarities to Rocky. Except that Jim is a 90s kid, a, a kid that grew up rebelliously and wanted to do what he wanted to do in his way, but didn't know exactly how to achieve that. Lucky for him, tragedy turns into opportunity, as Dr. Dobler was also interested in increasing his own notoriety, I guess, by discovering treasure planets. What just happened? So, now that the stage is set, both of them will be off on their own separate Let's hero's journey, the on the same journey. Also, that's not the only thing that makes this different from other hero's journeys. I think that because of the immediate adventure and space whales and just crazy stuff happening and just being thrown into it makes it quite exciting as well. Because the audience also get immediately introduced to John Silver, the anti-hero or antagonist. I'm not sure he's, he's sort of a good guy, but not really, you know, it's a very fun character. <clears throat> And he is more so Jim's mentor than Dr. Doppler, who who immediately got sidetracked by Captain Amelia. And they immediately go into their own separate kind of universe, apart from Jim and Silver's. And it's fine, because everybody has their part to do, and their own sort of dynamic relationships with the other characters, except for Ben. These characters kind of out of place but I also like him he's not a bad character he's funny and fun and weird and quirky which I like but he's more so akin to a menace than anything else he's literally the reason why they find themselves in very bad situations luckily he only gets introduced almost at the end of the movie which is good, because I think otherwise he wouldn't have worked out so well. Mm, but wow. let's talk a little bit about Amelia, who's supposedly a proud, quick-witted, fast-talking, strong-minded, business-like woman. And I love her because she absolutely just demands respect. And being at the top of the chain of command, she has to. I mean, this is just... Fucking 101 of if you want to go on any type of organized journey or you know adventure or you know, scouting if you want to go on like a proper scouting mission you need someone who's on top of it that checks that everyone's doing their job just she's the one that lights the fire under you you know and her relationship with Dr. Doppler is extremely synchromatic I don't know how else to put it, they complement each other, should I say, with Dr. Doppler's astronomical advice, giving Amelia very good information on what she should do next to get out of bad situations that they find themselves in. This in combination with Jim's training montage with John Silver is, is quite impressive to see, and because everybody always says, it's about the journey, not the destination. And I think Treasure Planet portrays this pretty well. With there being a few obstacles in the way, in the form of Scroop, the antagonist, 
And I thought about motivations of why he's being such a dick to Jim, but I can't really find anything apart from him just being very cruel, greedy, manipulative by nature, I guess. And um, kind of an idiot as well, because he almost blew their cover before the whole mutiny thing was due. And was reprimanded by John and Mr. Arrow, who is at the opposite side of the spectrum. He doesn't really get a lot of screen time, so uh, he sort of lost his footing halfway through the movie. Um, and the last character I want to talk about is Morph, which uh, not really a lot going on there. He's basically an awesome pet that any anyone, any child would like to have, any adult even. <laughs> And so I'm not going to talk about the ending that much, as the movie revolves more around the journey rather than the destination of Treasure Planet itself. With Jim developing throughout the movie and at the end using all of his skills that he's learned to think of a quick way out of there and using his skills to actually achieve that goal. In a way, the movie is trying to say that the journey is the treasure, I guess. But one thing we can take from this movie is that all of us have our own journeys. We all have our path to carve in life. And sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes there are obstacles in the way or people who stand in your way. Because they're also basically trying to achieve the same thing that you are. You know, success. <laughs> uh, speaking of, you know what's a really funny thought is the captain that is that Captain Nathaniel Flint, who was this amazing space pirate who stole the treasure and hid it inside of the center of Treasure Planet and got away with it. And this great pirate was navigated through space by... Ben! <laughs> he was a complete goofball in my opinion, but a lovable goofball. And I can just imagine how their relationship played out. Which is probably extremely funny. And I would have loved to see how Captain Flint and Ben got along. Captain Flint and Ben. I would have loved to see Captain Flint and Ben's adventure of how they stole so much treasure and the bantering and the bickering. Anyway, that's about all out of me, I guess. Uh, if you want to hear more about Treasure Planet, about the disastrous marketing campaign and all sorts of other fascinating details about the movie, please check the description for links below to some of my favorite movie reviews of Treasure Planet. we have to sort of make do with what we have use that to build 